episode of vlogmas it is currently a saturday morning and it is the most gorgeous glorious a little bit frosty a little bit sunny wintry weekend and those are just my favorite favorite weekends i've just finished up doing my makeup oh i haven't actually sprayed my max prep and prime always my favorite thing to spray to keep my makeup in place um i've gone for a bit more of like a natural makeup today um i haven't done my eyeliner flick which kind of feels a bit weird i feel almost a little bit naked because i feel like my eyeliner uh, my eyeliner flick is a little bit of like an iconic ellie look now um but you know what? i just wasn't feeling it today i just wanted to go a little bit more natural and a little bit more kind of like toned down um so like really super simple makeup today um which I'm kind of feeling it's not all that different from my usual day. Basically, I just haven't put an eyeliner flick on. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. A nice, very like subtle weekend makeup look. We have a really, really fun weekend plan, which I have been looking forward to for so long. We actually booked this. God, how long ago did I book this? I think I booked it back in October because it fills up quick. So today we are heading to have a little bit of a Christmas in the Cotswolds and I cannot wait. So I have booked Blenheim Palace and I'm so, so excited. If you've been around since last year's Vlogmas, you'll remember we did the light trap the first year last year and it was absolutely glorious. And it was really nice actually because it was one of the few like outdoor vlogs that I did last year. Obviously a lot of Vlogmas was just like in the house, in the flat, you know, not really going anywhere. We couldn't really do much. We were in a lockdown, um, but outdoor activities were still allowed. So I remember that Alex and I did it and it was such a lovely experience so i have booked it again this year and i'm so so excited about it if you don't know so blenheim palace is like a really gorgeous um privately owned estate in the cotswolds it's in is it woodstock i believe it is um and it is absolutely stunning like all year round they do lots of events throughout the year as well um and then at christmas they do their iconic light trail and i feel like a lot of estates have now been starting to like copy that and doing their own versions um Q Gardens also does one as well, which I've heard is really good, which maybe we should do that one, yeah. Um, but basically, they have, like, artists. Every year it's different. They have artists come in and basically set up their own little, like, kind of light station and it's really really cute and what we've also decided to do this year which we've never done before is book to go inside the house as well which i'm super super excited about so this year they have a nutcracker theme which i think they must do themes every year i'm not entirely sure last year was the first year that we actually did it um and did the light trail and like went at christmas time um so yeah really really excited about that they've got a nutcracker theme inside so we get to go inside the house have a wander around i booked tickets and i am seriously seriously looking forward to it apparently they've also got a christmas market up so i feel like it's gonna be seriously wholesome festive vibes if you can get tickets i'd 110 percent recommend it probably will be quite difficult at this point because as i said i booked mine back in october and even then they were starting to like fill up but i think um if you go like midweek or later on in the evening there's usually more tickets available i'm not entirely sure what time the light trust starts I think about three o'clock so obviously it's got to be dark for it to be effective I'm not sure, but I would definitely recommend it if you have never been, if you live within a drive of the Cotswolds, like it is about 45 to an hour drive for us, um, which isn't too bad, it's fine. We will just set up for a little road trip in the Rover, get some like takeaway coffees and I really love road trips at the weekend, especially when it's like for a really festive event like this. So I'm super, super excited about that today. But I've actually had a new little delivery arrive. Let me grab it. And I was just putting on my jewellery this morning and I thought perfect timing for this delivery. So this is a lovely little delivery from Estella Bartlett, which is a really gorgeous jewellery brand. They are a great gifting brand. I've gotten quite a few friends presents from Estella Bartlett before. Um, I absolutely adore their little travel jewellery pouches. So handy. I've got them for so many friends and family, which I really like them if you're like traveling and you're like me and you like to switch up your jewelry a little bit. Um, but they got in touch and asked if I wanted to receive some new bits, which was really, really kind of them. So of course I did. So I thought I could unbox this for you. I literally have not opened it yet. Is there anything more satisfying than being able to rip that off? And also I just love the packaging. Like the boxes inside are pink, obviously they're not always this big. Um, and then they have the most gorgeous, look at that. And you could reuse that as wrapping paper as well, which I have done in the past so i've got a little note here that says dear ellie please find and close your pieces from estella bartlett we hope you love them love the team oh so sweet um so if you're ever wanting to tag them on instagram it's hashtag eb girls um and let me take these out because they were just 
the cutest little packaging like these gray little pouches which is one of the reasons why i just think they make such great gifting pieces um i love them for christmas presents so if you're looking for a nice little christmas present for someone i'm really struggling to get this one out then i feel like estella bartlett will be beautiful oh my gosh this is absolutely stunning so this is a so every, all of their jewelry i think is gold and silver plated um so it makes it a little bit more affordable as well but it does mean that it's very like um wearable you don't have to worry too much about like when you're washing your hands taking off your rings and stuff like that look at how stunning this necklace is oh this is so so gorgeous so it's a little silver and gold kind of like hoop which i absolutely adore i was actually thinking of saving this for my sister for christmas because i think she would really really like this this is a great way i know i talk a lot about um like layering up jewelry and mixing your metals you guys know i love to mix my metals and i feel like this is a great way to help someone kind of start that if they're maybe not sure how to do it they have never really tried because there are literally two metals being mixed here in one necklace so it's absolutely gorgeous so that's definitely going to be saved for my sister for christmas i think she would love that okay next is something that i've been really looking forward to arriving it's this new gorgeous chain bracelet i've got the um let me take the label off i didn't realize they come with this gorgeous little navy blue label i'm loving navy blue at the moment guys honestly i feel like remember in the vlog just before black friday it was calling to me but this is the most stunning like really simple gold chain bracelet i'm really loving my more simple bracelets at the moment like just layering up lots of gold bracelets i haven't actually put my bracelets on today yet i've literally just put on my um rings and necklace but i thought seeing as these have arrived i'll wait oh that is stunning Oh, I absolutely love that and as I said that is gold plated so you don't have to worry too much about I believe it's gold plated doesn't tell me on here I believe it is um but I do find with the Stella Barlet I don't have to worry too much about like I don't really take mine off when I wash my hands I'm not the kind of person that wears jewelry 24 7 in the shower in bed like I take them off at night and before I get in the shower but when it comes to like, washing my hands I can never be bothered to like be careful with it um it's just so gorgeous especially with the jumper like this just over the top like it's a little bit big on me compared to some of my others but what i quite like is obviously because it is the closure if you can see here it's just like in there so you could actually pull it in a little bit if you wanted to like i'm sure i'll be able to go in any of those um that is just gorgeous i absolutely adore that i actually really like that by itself as well i think that would make such a nice present okay next up we have a ring that i have been so so excited to arrive in. it's their gorgeous signet ring and i love a signet ring i feel like they're really really like classy really special really timeless and it's this absolutely stunning gold signet ring with this kind of like diamante crystal encrusted on the inside what ring finger is that going to fit on yeah, that fits on my ring finger. I won't put it on my left hand. But I think I'm going to add it to my stack that I have with my Monica Vinader pieces. Guys, look at that. That is so, so gorgeous. I know that this one's quite extra. So if you wanted to go a little bit less extra, that is really really nice i absolutely love how they look together i will link all of my other jewelry pieces as well down below if you want to shop them i've got quite a mixture of like pandora one of the vinegar um i think this was from farfetch alex, alex got this for me like three years ago um that just looks so so lovely that's really dainty i love layering up my rings and i really like how that looks next to the monica vinegar one i love the fact that it's just like a little bit sparkly i always love just a little bit of sparkle but nothing too much i think that is such a lovely lovely ring and then the last one i've been super super excited for these to arrive are a gorgeous pair of earrings now these are like a pair of huggy earrings which have if you can see these kind of crystal again very similar to this signet ring actually i think these were from the same kind of collection um but i see how i open this well done ellie um so i've been really excited for these to arrive because when it comes to huggies i have quite small holes in my ear and i sometimes struggle with huggies where the bar is quite thick so i wanted to give these a try and see if i these will like fit in my ear because the bar isn't rounded and i think that's part of the problem that i have is when the bar is rounded i just can't quite get the angle right um oh yeah uh, oh that is gorgeous that is such a simple really understated oh i'm absolutely obsessed absolutely obsessed definitely wearing these today 
they are so so pretty and these ones are 18 karat gold plated as well so it makes such a nice christmas gift look how lovely the blue is as well i love the navy blue um and i always keep these as well for um i actually keep them for like memory cards and stuff for work but you can keep them if you don't want to get a full travel case they're great for like if you're traveling and you want to wear your jewelry they're also great for basically loads of things like in your bracelets um i know someone that uses them whenever she carries like spare contacts around with them and her contact solution i feel like these are just really great or actually i always keep like a pouch of coins in my car in case i need to use money to pay for parking so they're great for that as well so really really love them i think they make such lovely gifts and i'm very very honored to have been sent these i think they're so so lovely so thank you so much to estella bartlett i absolutely love their jewelry i will link them down below for you guys if you did want to shop them as i said i think they make such lovely gifts this is definitely going to be wrapped under the tree for my sister because i just think it's so so pretty i know she's going to absolutely love love that so yeah if you're looking for some jewelry that's not too expensive but still it's not costume jewelry you know it's not going to tarnish it's going to last and it's going to be a really timeless classic piece to get someone I definitely recommend it checking them out right i need to get ready for the day i think we're going to be making some breakfast soon so i'm gonna have some bacon and egg for breakfast which i'm very very excited about um and we can get on with the day chef alex is in the house we're doing bacon and egg i'm very very excited yummy oh yeah <laughs> we are just getting ready to go now and we are just wrapping up really warm because i get so cold Lennon palace at night like as soon as that sun drops and the sun goes down at the temperature drops so much so i'm wearing my fave fairfax and favor coat which i absolutely love i have two pairs of leggings on <laughs> i've got my riding boots which these are my old ones from asos because i don't want to ruin my nice duo boots ones because it is quite muddy there i remember last time and then i've got the roll neck that i had on underneath and a jumper over the top. So we're rocking the navy blue and black today. Um, but I do love it. I really love mixing navy blue and black. I think it actually looks really cool. And we're getting ready to go. So I'm so, so excited. I'm hoping that I've dressed warm enough. I've got gloves and scarves and hats and all that jazz. But I'm so excited for a little Christmas weekend in the Cotswolds. Cheaply, stop it at Cheaply. Cheaply's the best, it's <laughs> immense. <laughs> if you've watched Garden and Stacey, You'll know that quote. Oh my god, it's so bright. We've actually got such a good day. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to wait for the sun to set before we can see the lights. We've actually got such a nice day just to have a wander around the Christmas market. I don't think you can see me. It's so bright. But um, every time, every time we pass Cheekly, we always say it's each other. Cheekly! Stop it up, Cheekly! <laughs> had to take a bit of a detour i think there was an accident on one of the a roads motorway not entirely sure um but we had to take a car it's so bright a bit of a detour and it's a lovely country detour this is really feeling like a road trip today isn't it yeah i'm loving I feel, it i feel like bilbo baggins right now going on another <laughs> adventure <laughs> There's a burger van doing the ultimate burger. You are so tall, Alex. I literally have to hold the camera like this in order for you to be in it. <laughs> are you wanting a burger, are you? Uh, well, I mean, it's called the ultimate burger. You can't right, let's get this boy a burger.
Oh, it looks so pretty. This one is even put up a story on his Instagram, which he never does. Um, they've got the little Christmas market behind me, which has got loads of food and there is music playing. So I'm hoping that you're not able to hear that because otherwise I'm going to get in trouble with YouTube for the little, little copyright strike. Um, but they've got festive music playing. Look at this behind me. Oh, it looks so cute. It's like so much more than last year, which is really, really nice to see. Um, just, yeah, wrap up warm because, oh my God, it's cold. There's one thing that this boy loves. It's a Christmas market. You know it. We love a Christmas market. Oh, it looks so festive. Guys, we found Alex's stool. Alex Krebs. Do you think if you're called Alex, they'll let you have them for free? Should we ask if they'll let you have them because your name's Alex? Why are they still in my cup spot? <laughs> I did not allow this. <laughs> got myself, well, I say I got myself. Alex has treated me to some fizzy cola bottles. I'm a very happy bunny right now. I Christmas would, markets, um, because I treated, hot chocolate and cola bottles. I'm so happy. Because I treated you to cola bottles, mm -hmm. I would like it if you treated me to one of your cola bottles. Okay. Guys, we've made a friend. Alex, what should we call him? I think Nelson. Nelson the Nutcracker Man. <laughs> oh. Fred. You want to call him Fred? Can't All right. can't tell him this. <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> Is to me, that's not okay. <laughs> oh, little Fred, busy mates. That's Nelson. Right, we are heading into the house now for the Nutcracker experience. No idea if I'm going to be allowed to film in there, but super excited to see what they've kind of like done for the inside. I've literally never been inside London Palace before, so I have big expectations. Oh my god, guys, this is. Amazing. Look at this tree. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. No. That's insane. Constructed with a hundred thousand matchsticks. That's actually insane. I love the little ferris wheels as well. King Alex. <laughs> you ready? He's actually quite a scary rat, I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of freaking me out a bit. <laughs> oh, I can't hardly even notice that. Little one's following him. Yeah.
come out of the Nutcracker and it's really starting to get dark now. We'll grab a drink each. Alex has got his beer. I've got, well, I can't, I literally can't even think that one. I've got my cider. Um, and we're just sitting. We're just taking it all in for a minute. It's so magical, isn't it? Yeah, and it's also getting colder, so I thought I'd grab a beer to put another jacket on. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so nice. I've literally just got the Nutcracker music, music playing. The lights are really starting to all come on now which looks absolutely fabulous and then we've got our light trail booked in about an hour or so so we can head in then i think we're gonna get some dinner as well which is just so magical it's oh it's gotten really time. dark now look at that <laughs> we are just heading in oh, to the light trail now oh it's so pretty <laughs> um we're just heading in for the night trail now we've got ourselves some hot chocolates and it's looking so festive <laughs> How excited are you, babe? Huh? How excited are you for the light trail? Oh, I'm so excited. It's looking so magical. We've got the sun setting behind us. There's the moon in the river. The moon in the river. I love it. Oh, this really is the epitome of Christmas to me. Cheers to that, babe. Huh? Cheers to that. Cheers. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Than there was last year, don't you think? Yeah. Like I think there was I, more to feel, see last year. I feel like they missed like a whole section. Yeah, I feel like they did, but it was still absolutely amazing. And I love how they do like the different things every year, but then they always do like the big, what do they call it? The Cathedral of Lights? I love that one. I think my favourite was when they lit up the whole side of the palace. Yeah, that was amazing. They've done some like, um, obviously like programmed it to like music and stuff. So it looks really, really cool. It's so nice just to like stop and watch it. They had lots of um, like stops as well for like coffees and drinks and stuff. And it's so good, it's like, um, but oh, so magical. Very chilly, very cold, very glad I have my gloves and my hat and scarf. I think when I'm gonna grab 
something to eat now because it's quite late and we haven't actually had any dinner. We've had lots of coffees, lots of hot chocolates and a couple of uh, drinky drinks, but no, no food as of yet. So we should probably grab a little something to eat. The most exciting news of the day is there's a gluten free I'm so happy. Normally when we go places like this, I literally can't get anything to eat. Um, we've got a steak treat. Look at this. Oh, it's just grabbing them for us. A steak treat stall and all of it is gluten free. I'm so, so happy. So Alex has got steak treat. I have just got, oh my God, look how big that is. A huge portion of fries. <laughs> so even celiac, guys, because apparently there's no gluten on the premises, will be able to eat there. So if you're worried, there's somewhere for us to eat and it's in like the little square just as you come in so you've got the loveliest little view we've got the merry-go-round in front of us we've got the helter skelter oh it's all so magical so we're gonna grab a table and have some nice freeze that i can have for you <laughs> final hot chocolate of the evening has been bought and i think it's about time that we head home this is a for the journey hot chocolate i think this is about my third hot chocolate of the no evening way, but if you go and have hot chocolate at a Christmas market, then when can you? This has honestly been such a magical day. I absolutely love it here. I would 110% recommend. If you can get tickets, if you can come down to London, even if you can't get tickets for the light show, just come down to have a wander around the Christmas market, go around all the stores, pick up some lovely Bailey's hot chocolate. If you're feeling a little bit cheeky and you're not driving, I'm not doing the driving, so I can have a Bailey's hot chocolate. Um, <laughs> and just have like a really lovely, festive, a, a festive Christmas in the Cotswolds, basically. Um, I think they do sell tickets. It looks like there's still tickets, like as you get here as well. So if you can't get any online, you might be able to get them here as well. Um, but yeah, did you enjoy yourself today? Oh yeah. Had such a lovely time. So time to head home, cozy up on the sofa, and stick on a Christmas film. Well, I think it's safe to say that that was probably one of the most magical, wholesome, festive weekends we could have asked for. What a way to spend a weekend in December. Definitely recommend checking it out. I still have my scarf on because I am still really, really cold. I'm still defrosting. Even just from the journey, from the cart to the flat, like I feel like it got so cold. It was absolutely freezing. So wrap up warm if you are heading out, um, but... Oh, such a lovely day so I think the makeup is going to be going straight off this lighting is absolutely horrendous um makeup is coming off jammies are going on and I have a feeling we might even watch a film in bed because it's that kind of a wholesome evening it's really really late now um but we just had the best time so I'm gonna end this vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed it my camera battery is flashing so that is absolute perfect timing I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got to the end of this leave me the little star emoji because I'd love to know who got to the end and let me know if you're going to be heading to Blenheim this year for Christmas but I hope you have the loveliest week and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!